the show of force always so impressive. Tens of thousands gather for a now daily spectacle. Famous artists warm up the crowds for the president. Everyone here sings from the same hymn sheet. I came to support Paul Kagame because he stopped the genocide. He brought peace. He built houses for the poor. The president has no doubt that he will win. On August the 4th, this is just a formality. Two years ago, a referendum amending the constitution to allow Kagame to serve up to three more elected terms was won with 98% of the vote. So Friday's poll is a foregone conclusion. But for human rights activists, Rwanda is a repressive regime. Of the 98%, there may be those who wanted this option, others who voted yes because they wanted a quiet life, and some who dared not to vote for fear of reprisals. And all that in a context where there's very little political space. The ruling party's posters monopolize billboards. The opposition relegated to the sidelines. Independent candidate Philippe Mpeyimana holds an impromptu roadside rally. Earlier, his campaigning was blocked. The local authorities don't understand what an opposition is, and certain members of the ruling party have acted beyond their authority. At first sight, Rwanda appears unreservedly behind its president. But with free speech so restricted, how is it possible to measure Kagame's true popularity? A question that remains largely unspoken here.